A friend wanted to compost on his balcony, which can be notoriously difficult to do without making a mess, but I love a challenge. I noticed he had these huge planters and one was empty. So I came up with an idea to adapt the soil cylinder method of using a ring of wire mesh, but this time to situate it inside of the big planter. This seemed like a way to make it more attractive and keep things contained. It would also allow for airflow around the mesh so we can still do a hot thermophilic composting process, which would probably not happen if we just filled the planter with food scraps. It's been a year since I built this, so let's check on it. This thing has consumed a lot of food waste and still hasn't overflowed, but it is starting to get full. However, I did consider that in my design, and the idea is to just shimmy the wire mesh up to make more room for food scraps and leaves while the finished soil at the bottom continues filling up the planter. Oh, and is there finished soil? Yes. It's incredible to think of the huge variety of things that went in here, all turning into rich, dark soil. Another reason this is a beautiful setup is because all the dry carbon matter we need to balance out the food waste comes from the dead leaves that drop from the plants on this balcony. So it's like a little ecosystem of circularity, which is very rare to see in urban environments. I hope this encourages you that with an understanding of the recipe and principles, you can figure out how to make soil anywhere. You can also amplify your impact by joining makesoil.org. There, you can help your community by receiving food scraps from neighbors, or help the planet by bringing your own food scraps to a soil site like this. And you'll be part of a global movement to repair the earth.